Madam Vice President, in her address yesterday, Madam Commissioner touched on some of the deplorable acts taking place in Iraq today. Unfortunately for the Iraqi people, these are but a minute example of the vast human rights violations they are forced to endure every day. We heard of the continued execution of people in batches, but just as critical is the widespread and unlawful practice of arbitrary arrests and detentions to precede many of these executions. Arbitrary arrests and detentions were carried out on a mass scale throughout the war, occupation, and interim government, and the current one has done a superb job of continuing and expanding this practice of depriving Iraqis of their right to liberty. Hundreds of thousands have been arbitrarily arrested or detained since 2003, and to date, night raids continue. Arrests are carried out without warrants. Thousands are held for years without being charged or incommunicado. Sentences are passed down without fair trials or due process. Torture remains the method of choice for abstracting confessions and secret prisons, which by definition embody all the elements of arbitrary arrest and detention, remain in heavy use. A new campaign named the Ar al Shahada, or Martyr's Revenge, has launched this past August ended in the arrest of almost 1,500 people in less than two weeks, all under the guise of counterterrorism. Prime Minister al-Maliki has stated that this operation will continue indefinitely and that he will not listen to any condemnations or statements against it. We must make him listen. Madame Pillay also spoke of the impunity and lack of accountability for perpetrators of human rights violations in Iraq and called on the authorities to do the utmost to protect all people in the country. But who will protect the Iraqi people when it is the same authorities who are perpetrating some of the worst violations? Who will end their impunity and lack of accountability? The answer is you, distinguished members of the Council. It is your responsibility to uphold your obligations under the UN Charter and as members of this Council to protect human rights and take action against all violators. For the sake of the over 42,000 people in Iraqi prisons today, the over 1,200 languishing on death row, the close to 2,000 arrested in August alone under the new Martyr's Revenge campaign, and the tens of thousands of innocent Iraqis who, meet this, who can meet the same fate. We hope that you uphold your obligations and hold Iraqi to theirs. Thank you.